Hey folks, Ian Smith here with Kelly and Hockey. I got a video here for you. Um, you know, as an old timer like myself, the way we used to shoot was we would have, so all the video's about taking a snapshot. It's kind of the, the, the modern way of shooting. Like you don't see many wrist shots anymore. The slap shots that are taken are all one timers. So you definitely have to have a great slap shot in order for your one timer to be great. But the modern way of shooting is this snapshot thing. And we kind of really saw it happening with the Austin Matthews uh, big toe drag shot and uh, the Connor Bedard, what they're doing. And that, that was like, what is going on here? And then uh, noticing that, that I'm just seeing all these young people who are like small, tiny, but just unleashing their snapshot and I couldn't quite figure out what it was like I'm not a small person and I have a pretty good shot but I never really got the same power that these that these guys were having and so um, I did a little bit of um, uh, quite a bit of research actually I'm trying to figure out what is the, the, the modern way of shooting like what is the trick there's always a, a trick and uh, here's what I found out um, watch some videos from a fella young fella very smart guy um, named Jason Yee Canadian fell up in the Vancouver area. He's doing a whole video series, Train 2.0, which I would recommend you go watch because the guy has got a lot of great detail in there. And so here's what I figured out. The way we used to shoot with a wrist shot is that we would have our hands out to the side and then we'd do a big sweep or we would start on our back leg and push to the, the front leg and then we would you know sweep our way through our shot. And if you look at my lower hand, it's kind of like, there's, it's, it's out here and then it's coming around, okay? And so what we noticed with this toe drag shot, the shot comes in and then it comes out. And the, the predominant wisdom is that the, the toe drag is to change the angle for the goalie and then take, take the shot, which is absolutely true. That is what is happening, but it's, it's not the whole story this the secret that I have found is that your lower hand once you've done the toe drag is now placed in a position where you can maximize your power now the, fundamentally when we're taking a wrist shot or a snapshot what's going on is our hands are starting into the in in our stick handling position and when we're getting ready to shoot their hands come up and once they come up the lower hand is pushing the upper hand is pulling, and then you get this kind of whipping motion going on. Now, the push part of this, if we bring our lower hand to this knee and then push out, this motion is a lot stronger than this motion. So when we push our stick, that is what's creating the flex as we as we push, there's a little bit of ice that's being grabbed there, which, which creates resistance and the, and the puck being, you know, the, the inertia of the puck staying where, where it wants to stay. Then once we push, the stick starts to flex. That push is maximized when we can bring it close to our body and use this motion here. So we get that. So there's the toe drag. What it does is it brings the, the lower hand to its most powerful uh, position. Then once your hand comes in like that, you're automatically having to bring your top hand up. It automatically comes up. Then once you're doing your follow through, this top hand shoots out. Imagine you're like whipping a towel. So your towel comes up and then back. So it's up and back. Rotating your upper body allows your more room for this snap by keeping your hand low you kind of run into yourself you just hit your body but if you can rotate your upper body you get a little more motion on that lever okay so first thing you're doing is taking a puck toe dragging it in to bring your hand in and then just get the hand movement you're pulling it in out and whip okay so that's a great way to do it. Then the next thing that happens is the uh, is your rotation from your lower body. What's going on 
is once we pull the puck in, we're rotating our hips towards the target. And then as we shoot our hands out, we're kind of unraveling that whole situation. So we're here, it comes in, our hands are going up, we rotate our body and out, right? Imagine, a, think of a baseball player. Not that I'm a, any kind of baseball player, but think about the way they hit. They're, they're, they're leading, they step, lead with their hips, and then they swing. Golfers, same thing. Once they come up in their swing, they lead with their hips, and then they swing. Well, same thing with this shot. When we bring it in, we lead with our hips, and we take off. Now, that is shooting from your outside leg, and that's, you see it a lot with the, the knee down stuff that's going on. Well, that's what's, we're pulling it, we're twisting our hips, and then so we're unraveling our hips, getting this leg out of the way so we can unravel that and take that shot. You can do the same kind of thing with starting on your opposite leg, going to your inside leg to shoot, and the same thing is happening. Your hands are coming in to that knee and then getting out for that inside leg shot, okay? So, telling you, the toe drag is, purpose is not directly to change the angle. The toe drag's purpose is to bring your lower hand to its powerful position. So this, so when we push, we're bringing our hand up and leading our stick, and then we push straight out, and then whip it back, and off it goes. Now the snapshot, you can do it as a wrist shot and then let it go, but you get a little more power when you get separation from your stick because your stick can move quicker than it can when you're dragging the puck along with you. You can get more stick speed when you have some separation and then you can strike the puck. So that is the fundamental difference between a wrist shot, wrist shot being holding it the whole way, and a snapshot has separation, and then you strike it. So it's a, a you know, um, outside leg snapshot, inside leg snapshot. You can have an inside leg wrist shot. Any of those are, you know, excellent ways of shooting, but the most modern way, the quickest way to do it is you're having a, the snapshot, because A, it's, it's quick, it's deceptive, and it's incredibly powerful when you harness the hips and the proper arm movement. If you're taking a long shot, you want to have the puck start behind your skates. So you got a little bit of a wind up where you can pull it and then twist and then shoot it. If you're in front of the net, you have the puck. So you've just caught the puck and then you have it out in front of you. You're, you basically do not need your legs for this because then your, your hands can just put it right up in front of the net, right up quick. So we've got this puck, we just got it right here, up it goes. The, the puck is starting right here, hands are by your knee, up it goes. But then for a longer shot, we would pull and then twist, all right? A great way to um, practice the pull and then getting this kind of feeling going is using the perfect release. That's just another little thing that we, that we can use to help with that. So what I'll do is I'll take my perfect release, put it on my stick, twist it up, and I'll put the band on. All right, 
Now what's going to happen here is that the band, as it goes from, so when I pull the puck in, when it goes from, you can see the band here, it's on one side of the stick. When you reach your hands out and then come underneath, there's like a, there's a, a, a pull that's going on. The rubber band is creating this pull. And so when you're practicing, pulling it in, getting your hands out to snap, this band, what it's doing is, is helping you feel the, that you want to pull back as much as you're pushing. Like this pullback is what brings a lot of power into the lever that's going on here. So this band creates, see, it's like a, a pull over, pull over, they just whoa. And so once you use this, you start to feel, oh yeah, feel the pull. Use that for a bunch of times. You can certainly shoot it with it on, pull it in, get that pull to go. Once you get that going and get that feel, you take it off and then you start taking your bucket of pucks and you get that pull, rotate, snap. Pull it in, get your hand right, rotate, hands out. You know, you want that top hand up to clear to get plenty of room for your your lever if it's low it's no good but we you don't you don't get as much movement because your body gets in the way but we start down here your hand comes up as you're pulling pulling it in out snap Start down here, your hand comes up as you're pulling, pulling it in, out, snap. All right, all right, start shooting those bucks.